I've dreamed of traveling to Europe since I was a child. The different cultures, food, beautiful architecture, history, I've been drawn to it always. The beautiful thing about this life is you can usually turn this type of dream into your reality. Waking up to go to the airport at 4.45 a.m., checking your luggage, getting your tickets, boarding, and taking off before 8 a.m. sounds like a dream. But for us, that was followed by 33 hours of travel, layovers, cancellations, hours on the phone rebooking, lack of any sort of good food, sleep, or movement. And finally, forgetting my passport on our plane at the final destination. And solo hablo un poco espanol. We got to our Airbnb after midnight last night and just woke up and it's 2.30 in the afternoon. I feel. I don't have words. <laughs> Me either. Oh, I need to get our day let's started. Go, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hmm. I'm just trying to lift it. Mm. Words of wisdom. It's before. been 20 hours since we've eaten anything. <laughs> Since we didn't wake up until 2.30 in the afternoon, it is now 4.30 in the afternoon. We've had something to eat and now we're just roaming around the streets of Madrid, which is really interesting and amazing and beautiful and mind-blowing and all of the amazing things. But we are going to find a cafe with Vien Leche. <laughs> So I know we're like several minutes into the video now, but hi guys, welcome. I hope you're having a beautiful damn day. And I am so excited to welcome you to my video and also to Madrid. I have never been. I am freaking out internally and- And externally. And externally. <laughs> we're currently in an area near Plaza Mayor and we're just going to check everything out, see where we can go. And there are so many different plazas around here. Got me doing pelvic tilts. <laughs> what? <laughs> I got a... That was a really oh. ridiculous thing to say. Oh, I didn't know I was going to go... Whoa. <laughs> oh, you got to get... I have... Just... No, I don't posture that tilt very well. So I'm just practicing doing that. <laughs> tell me you're an athlete without telling me you're, telling me you're an athlete. <laughs> We're currently outside of the Mercado de San Miguel, which is the most popular food market within Madrid. And we're hoping to find some vegan options within this market because the area that we're staying, which is outside of the Plaza Mayor, has a bunch of vegan restaurants. So hopefully there's some vegan options inside here as well. This building itself is over a hundred years old, which is so freaking incredible. Uh, let's check it out. So Madrid is pretty lively. We showed up on a Wednesday, but this is the first weekend that we've seen. Saturday is freaking nuts. If you want to come to Madrid and have it a little less lively, I would recommend coming during the week. But if you like the liveliness of it, then spruce it up on a weekend. <laughs> Some more vegan options. So far, 
just some grilled veggies and let's do a little taste test. This is artichoke. I'm just gonna. Mm. Pimento verde. Good. Is it is it green pepper? No, that's green pepper. This oh, is no. it's a chili. Mm. It is. How spicy? I don't know. No man. I mean have all the seeds. The seeds are there. Don't get spicy. This is very good. This is really good. Mm -hmm. I mean I love spicy, so it doesn't really matter. But... Yeah, I know. But just for for uh, accuracy sake. So. Mm. Good. They're good, eh? Oh my god, yeah. I think the other show. Oh wow. Did you try the? It was good. That was good. I guess you're dodging the sauce. Yeah, you can try the sauce. I'll give the sauce a go. We got a side of this orange sauce here. It has milk in it, so I'm not having it. But Scott will tell us how it is. Yeah. Very nice. Very, very rico. Mm. Delicious. It's good. One of the mushrooms. Mmm. Mmm. Good? Mm-hmm. Mm. So flavorful. It's juicy. Oh, that is really good. Yeah? Yeah, it's really good. walk away from the food market we had the Palacio Royal de Madrid which we are heading to right now. I think we were a little bit naive to think that we would make it in here. <laughs> we forgot about weekends. Weekends are a thing. Weekends are real. And there is probably 500 people 700 people all just roaming about waiting in line this cool building is the cathedral de santa maria behind is the palacio de real madrid something in that order the cathedral palace <laughs> So fast! 
guys. Free runner. <laughs> so we're currently walking through Kaya Mayor to get to Retiro Park. That this was King Felipe, Felipe the King fourth. Philip. So this was royal, royal grounds that was open to the public. Do you like the butts? The butts. <laughs> Great butts. <laughs> The statue that I just showed you was built in 1295, so it's over 700 years old. And this one behind me was built in 1555. Quick math, engineer. Oh, uh, 422 years old. 422 years old. That math was wrong. Please don't fact check me on that. 445 plus 23. 468. Good job. I don't know math, so I can't <laughs> help with that. I know math. I'm just not good at doing math. Mental. It's not a skill it's that not, I have. It's, a, it's not a skill you need, really. We're coming to realize that maybe these statues weren't built at this time, but this is just when these people were alive. Because this one is... 638. This doesn't look like it was made that long ago. I mean, it looks old. Well, oh, it's restored. All of them are restored, for sure. Yeah. If they were built that long ago, they've all been like restored and maintained and well, kept and all of the things. But but whether or not I think original, this is worth a Google yeah, to see worth. whether or not these statues were built then, or if or, then. or if the people are just from these times. Tell us about it. Okay. I just learned a bunch of stats. They're not the interesting ones you normally hear about. Museo del Prado. Del Prado. They're not the normal stats you hear about Museo del Prado, but over two and a half million people come check it out every year. They have like 8,000 paintings. Sorry, 8,000 drawings. 4,000 paintings? I think so. I think a lot of paintings are drawn. <laughs> Before I back it up though, it's a museum of classical art with pieces from the 1200s to 20th century. So the cool thing about this museum is after 6 o'clock it's free admission. But we were obviously not the only ones to know about this because there was probably about a thousand people lined out outside. But the line is actually moving very fast. I think we will. Like we're basically at the front of the line now. Is it only at five, the only five hundred. Only five hundred. We got it. I think we waited so far for about twenty minutes, but we were way back there, probably like five hundred meters. So if somebody personally hands you a tiny little card to get inside of the museum, which. We are at the entrance bar. This is also the view that we get to have when we're standing in line for a museum. I just feel like at every turn you have something beautiful to look at here. Fact. <laughs> Walking around always fries your brain and hurts your feet, so we're just grabbing a quick dinner at a place called Lemongrass. We've never been before, cheap food, so hopefully it tastes great and my brain is fried. The Good. Yeah. 
Sí. my beautiful friends I'm going to end the video right here and I really hope you enjoyed it I know I enjoyed my time in Madrid and for me Madrid sorry sorry <laughs> it's okay uh, Madrid has just been so wonderful because I feel like at every single turn there's just history and to me that makes me feel so small in a really beautiful way like Wow, so many people have lived here over so many years and they've created so much beauty, art, culture, and I'm just here to enjoy the wonderfulness that it has to offer. And I hope one day you get to visit if you are so inclined, but I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I'm sending you so much love. I'll see you again so very soon and next time we're gonna be in the south of Spain. So, say bye Scott. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>